Hello, this is Rosa at Rosa Travels. Today, I'm going to show you a video tutorial how you can turn a blog into an ebook. The Calibre software right now does not have that feature. So this tutorial is going to be a little bit more technical and it will go beyond a little bit of what Calibre offers. But we can make use of a similar feature that Calibre has. And that is a fetch news that I showed you in the previous video. Let's go to the Calibre software. Here we are in the Calibre software. While the Calibre software has the feature called Fetch News here, it doesn't have a widget to fetch blocks. Think about this for a moment. If we can fetch news using the Calibre software, we should be able to fetch blocks also from the internet, won't we? Let me show you why we want to create ebooks from these websites. For example, for this Washington Post that I just created today, if you look at the ebook, this is just today's news, okay? And I take a look at the table of contents. All these chapter titles are hyperlinked into the ebook. So I click on the world news and I just need to click on these to read the news items. Look how convenient it is to do this. And all these chapter titles are the major headings of the news item. So when the table contents are also hyperlinked inside the ebook, you click on these and it'll show up as subtitles on the side here. This is the reason why we want to create ebooks because it's easy to navigate and you can read it offline. This is where Calibre shines. The problem that I've been facing is that we can fetch news from websites, but what about blogs? Sometimes when we look at blogs, they have a lot of resources that we want to keep as an ebook. So how do we go about doing this when Calibre doesn't have that feature? You look up preference and you look at toolbars here. There's nothing here where you can fetch blocks. It has fetch news, but not fetch blocks. Let's go to the website of the Washington Post. We know that all websites, whether they're news or blogs, they are all HTML based. So if we can use the Calibre software to download news items, we should be able to use the Calibre software to download blocks item. Even though there's no widget for blocks items, we can take a look to see how fetch news work. We can come down here to see add or edit a custom news source. We come down here to look at the built-in recipes. Say we click on the first one, Hola, this is Spanish, and we click on OK. The reason why we're able to fetch this Hola news in Spanish is because the project owners and the team has programmed into the software this programming languages in Python codes so that you're able to import the news into the Calibre software to create an ebook. This is a command language from calibre.web.feeds.news import basic news recipe. And here you see the title, Hola, the publisher. And when you scroll down a little bit more, you see these feeds, the URL links. So this is the reason why when we come to fetch news here, say if we just type in Hola, we can click on this and schedule for downloads because it's already built into the software, the Python coding for Hola. This is how this works in the Calibre software. You need this Python code file, which has an extension dot recipe to put into the Calibre software. So I've taken a look at how they write out this program language in Python, and I created a template for you so that even though you don't know any programming language, you can try to download your favorite blog using my template. 
If we come back to here, you can see that you can load recipe from file. This means that I can upload a Python code file with extension.recipe into the Calibre software here. With this program language, and I can save it into the Calibre software. Now it has a Rosa template here. And I can close this. It says custom. And here's my template. I can schedule to download the block with this template. Let me first explain to you the code that is in this template. I need to have this line from caliber.web.feeds.news import basic news recipe. This is a command line that is important to tell Caliber to download the HTML files into the ebook. And then down here from line 6 to 14 is a class. You don't really need to know programming language, there's indentation, all these are very important. All you need to do is to change the title. Right now it's this Rosa template. You need to change the number here depending on the oldest article that you want. And also the maximum articles per feed. Auto cleanup is always true, you don't need to change this. But you need to change the feeds here. Don't make any changes with these spaces and indentation. You can change the subtitle here and also you need to change the URL link to feed here. I've created this template for you in my GitHub gist. So what you can do is you can come up here to download zip and this file will be downloaded and all you need to do is to look up the zip file, just click and download this Rosa template recipe into your computer. So we come back to Fetch News to edit or customize a recipe. Load recipe from file, and here's my template. And you open, and here it is. This is my site. So what we can do is we're gonna change this to a blog. Let's say we wanna download a blog. How about we download the Calibre blog because they have Calibre tips and tricks, something that you might like since you are in this tutorial. You want to learn about Calibre. They teach you some tips and tricks and they have all these information for your resources. I won't be teaching you this because you can get this on their website. There's no need for me to do a tutorial on this, but it's good for you to have these tips as an ebook in your library so you can always refer to them. So what if we download the Calibre blog and to create an ebook out of this. This would be something great, wouldn't it? So this is what you need to do. We come back to this Python code file and we can make some changes. The first four lines here, you don't need to make any changes. This is already done for you. Just keep it the way as it is. If you don't have this line, you won't be able to import the HTML files into an ebook. The things that you need to change is in this area, line 6 to line 14. We'll keep the first line the same. For the title, it's not going to be called Rosa Recipe. We're going to call this Calibre Block because we want to download the Calibre Block. The oldest article, how about if we just change it to 100? Okay, we want to get as many articles as we want. For maximum articles, we'll just keep it 100. Auto Cleanup True. And then for the feeds, we're going to change this. This is not Learn Piano with Rosa. That's my blog and website. We're going to change this to Caliber Tips and Tricks, just as, just like how they have it. And the URL link here, we need to change. And how are we going to get this link? We come back to the blog.caliburebook.com, Caliber Tips and Tricks. This is their blog. We scroll down right to the bottom. Usually in blogs, at the very bottom, they have a place where you can subscribe to this blog. And here we can click on post, subscribe to post, and we'll click on this one to get the URL link. This is the RSS feed that we want. 
So we just copy this and come back to the recipe file with the Python coding here and paste it here. And we'll just delete my site. There you go. And then we can just save this. And now it's saved as Caliber Block. Do you see this? It's not my template anymore. It's Caliber Block. So we we'll take a look at this recipe. There you go. Up here, everything is the same. Make sure you don't change anything here. Just replace the title, Caliber Block. I put 100 here. Maximum article the same 100. Auto cleanup is true. And then for the feeds, I change the subtitle. And this is the URL link that I want to put in so that the Caliber software can register this to download the blog for me. All right. Now that we have this recipe, we're able to turn this Caliber blog into an ebook. This is fascinating, isn't it? So we come to Fetch News. We'll schedule news download here. We'll just use that tab. And right here you see custom one. This is a recipe file that I created just now. Caliber block. So I click on this and I just click download. The Caliber software is now turning the block into an ebook for me. Alright, the book is downloaded. Let's take a look and let's see what it looks like. Here's the table of content. All right, so tips on Caliber. These are the four different chapters. You see it on the table of content on the left here, how to back up and then manage your Kindle library. It's Caliber Safe and Caliber Icon Themes. So you can click on each one of these and just scroll down the book and you'll see all these information that was on the blog inside the ebook now. So isn't it great? You have all these information that you can read up offline. This is why you want to turn the blog into an ebook. If you see some nice resources on the net and they're written as blogs, you can get the URL link, the RSS feed to create a recipe file and use this fresh news icon here to customize your own blog recipe. This tutorial is a little bit more technical because it's going beyond what Caliber offers. I've shown you how you can use the same idea behind the Fetch News widget here to create your own Python code programming file dot recipe using my template to download your favorite blogs into an ebook. This is Rosa. I'll see you in the next video.